my channel pretty edgy i'm grealisha and i'm back with another video for you so let's jump right into it all right you guys so i am bringing a new series a new video to you guys today today i am going to be showing you guys my empties from the month of september as you guys know, I use a lot of products. I go through a lot of products. So I don't know why I've never showed you guys my empties, but we are here now. So I have all of my empties from September. So I will be bringing you guys more empties videos as I finish up my products. So in my empties video, you will see body care, fragrance, perfume, um, hair care uh what else do we have in here personal care everything that i use on a daily or have you those are the items that i will be showing you guys so we're gonna get right into it i have all of my september empties here and an old bath and body works bag so i'm just gonna pull everything out or pull one thing out at a time and just briefly tell you guys what the what the item is what i liked or didn't like about it and will i repurchase it all right you guys so my first empty is the tali wajid this is the detangler the great detangler it's like a leave-in conditioner and a co-wash this product is really good I use this product to detangle my hair before washing. And I think I picked this up from Marshalls or... Yeah, probably Marshalls I picked this up, but you can pretty much find it anywhere. Like I said, I use it to detangle. It is a great detangler. Um, I will definitely repurchase this. The next item is my Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Curl Defining Mousse. And this thing looks really disgusting. Um, but anyway, you guys, this is a great product as well. Um, I really like the Myel Organics Natural Hair Products. This one is one of my favorites from Myel. This one is one I can definitely say I will repurchase. Not everything from the Myel Organics I will repurchase, but this is one of them. Um, I actually have already repur repurchased this um, mousse. This is the um, product I use to achieve my twist outs. So this is the product I use to achieve this twist out and they always turn out great. Every time I use the Myel Organics um, Curl Defining Mousse, it always turns out bomb. So if you do have natural hair and you guys do like doing twist outs, I definitely recommend the Curl Defining Mousse by Myel Organics. Alright, next, this is just some soap, some antibacterial hand soap from Soft Soap. Soft soap. So I use this, it looks like it still has a lot in here, but it's hard for me to get this out. So I'm just going to call it an empty, but I always have these in everywhere that I have a sink, I always have antibacterial hand soap. All right, you guys, next is the Aromatherapy Eucalyptus and Spearmint Bath Soak by Bath & Body Works. And this was, um from the aromatherapy collection me and my husband both use these for our baths it smells super good my husband probably uses more than me honestly um it smells super good super calming um as well um it's supposed to the eucalyptus oil clears your mind and then the spearmint oil soothes and uplifts so this was a really good product. It smells really good. It was very soothing, calming, and relaxing. Um, like I said, my husband really liked this. So I will probably repurchase this again. All right, you guys. Next, I have these Thermacare. These are the menstrual pain therapy. They are pretty much like portable heating pads that I like to use when I'm on my cycle and I'm like going to work and I can't physically have my heat pad. I mean, I can, but I don't, I want to be low key and discreet. Um, so these are the heat and pads I get when it is that time of the month and you can get a box of these 
I think like four, four come in a box. You can get them from like CVS, like Walgreens. I haven't been able to find them anywhere else except for um, CVS and Walgreens. If you have, if you go to a super Target, they may have them. But if you just go to a regular Target, they may not have them. But yes, y'all, these are super good, super convenient. I always keep these in my period pouch that goes in my purse. Um, like I said, four come in the box and they last up to eight hours. So these are really, really good. Y'all probably see these every single time I have an empty because I keep these on hand. And I think I even have another one. Actually, you guys, I got three. Three of them. So definitely, definitely get up on these, y'all. If y'all have not use these or heard about these before definitely pick these up and let me know how they turn out for you all right next you guys i just have some dove bar soap um i like to use bar soap before i use my shower gel so every time i get in the shower wash myself whatever i always start off with a bar soap whether that be dove dow whatever is something to just cleanse my skin before actually putting on my uh fragrance uh body wash and shower gel so this is the dove bar soap this is this is the original all right i also have my um this is the bath and body Works detergent this was like a free sample that they gave i think all their members so I got the Sun Wash Santel, which I did use it um, for like, I think something just light, like nothing, something just light. It did smell really good. Um, it, the smell did come out on my items really good as well. I, I used this on a very small load just to give it a try, just to try it out. Um, it was good. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Um, will I buy a full size? I don't know. I really don't like to wash my clothes in fragrant scented detergents. Um, I had a bad experience with the pebbles with the like, what are those? I think they're like the game, like booster, like scent boosters. Um, I like my skin started breaking out when, when I use those, um, so I really don't like to wash my clothes in a detergent that is scented. I like to use an unscented, sensitive skin detergent. So this was good. I just don't know if I will buy the full size or a full size just because it's just not something that um, I use or like to use. But it did smell good nonetheless. So if you do like using scented detergents when you wash your stuff, then you may want to give it a try. Like I said, this is from Bath and Body Works. Um, and this is the Sand Wash Chantel. Guys, moving on. I do have my one size go off makeup dissolving travel size spray. And this was super good. You spray this all over your face. And it pretty much just melts your makeup down and off. It is everything. I already have repurchased a full size in this. So, yeah, I really do like it a lot, especially when you have a full face of makeup on. This will, this will um, decrease the amount of time you spend removing your makeup. So, definitely purchase this if you're a makeup girly. You like to um, do full glam makeup. Definitely purchase this so that your your makeup wash routine, your cleansing routine will be a little bit, um, will go just a little bit faster with that. And then from one size, again, I also have my one size until dawn magnifying waterproof setting spray. And this is the bomb. This is the best setting spray I have used to date. So, I have already repurchased this as well, and I got it in the full size. 
So definitely, definitely give this a try. Like, like I said, if you're a makeup girly, definitely give this a try because it is, it is great. All right, you guys, I have two of the Shan, Shine and Jam gels. So I like to get these and use them when I wear braids. So I had a lot of braids throughout the summer. So that is when i originally picked these up i'm pretty sure all the girlies know about this but if you haven't heard about this then where you been sis where you been because these are staples staples if you are a black girl you like to wear braids whatever the other one is the honey and then this pink one is cherry apple so they both are good all right you guys next i have a perfume this is the Dawkins Aroma Cocoa and Cashmere Travel Size Perfume that I finished up. And this smells really good. I have several of these. This is my favorite, favorite perfume from Dawkins Aroma. So I will be purchasing the full size and more of the travel size. This smells so good, y'all. If y'all haven't um, heard about Dawkins Aroma, you don't know about Cocoa and Cashmere, Definitely watch my black owned perfume company video. I'll link it in the cards for you guys. Next, I have another perfume. This is Majesty by Nicki Minaj. And I lost the top. I've been lost the top. But anyway, you guys, this is one I had for a long, long time. Oh, it actually still has just like a little bit in there. But whatever, it's pretty much empty. But I had this one for a long time. Um, did I like it? It was okay. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. It's not like one I feel like I need. Not like one. It's not one that I like love. So I probably will not buy this again. Um, but it was nice when I did have it. So I only got a few more items left. The next item is this Touch Land power mist this was in the scent vanilla blossom and was this vanilla blossom i guess it is it says vanilla blossom um but yes i didn't like this but these are expensive like these are like ten dollars ten dollars it did last a good little bit but ten dollars no i probably will not purchase another touchland not for ten dollars i won't um just because i did go to bath and body works and they were having um a sale for their a sale on their hand sanitizers where they were only a dollar so i got like 10 of those for ten dollars which is the price of one of these so i will not purchase repurchase another touchland um sanitizer just because I won't say I will never, but like it's I'm not gonna run and buy another one right now because this is empty. Like like I said, I do have ten Bath and Body Works sanitizers for the price of this one Touchland, and I just don't think it is that serious to buy a little hand sanitizer like a little hand sanitizer like this for ten dollars, like. It's never been that serious. Not for me, it's not. So I'm gonna stick to my dollar Bath and Body Work hand sanitizers. And once I finish with those, we'll circle back to see which hand sanitizer I get. But won't be spending ten dollars for this. All right, you guys. My next item is this is some lash glue this is actually one of the best lash glues um that i use that i purchased this is from a black on brand you guys and i honestly cannot remember the name of it i cannot remember the name of it i'm gonna have to put it somewhere on the screen i got i seen this brand on tiktok um and I, it kept popping up and it was just saying how the, la the last group was so good, it's waterproof, da 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 da. So I went ahead and purchased it, and it was one of the best lashes, lash glues that I have purchased since I've been wearing lashes. 
Um, so like I said, I want to say this might be like, I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong name. So I'll just put it on the screen for you guys in case you do want to check it out. But this was a lash glue that is empty. All right, next, you guys, this is my uh, Vaseline lip balm. And I don't even have the front of it anymore. But it is my Vaseline um, lip balm. And I think this was in the scent Rosy. I don't know, y'all, but it's like the red. It's like the pink. All right, you guys, I'm not really sure what um scent this was in but it is the pink little vaseline mini bomb so finish that up um this is really good i like to just keep this handy like i have another one right now in my bathroom that i like to use like after i brush my teeth like i wash my face or something like that before i go to bed i like to put some vaseline on my lips so definitely will keep that on hand next i have my eos chapstick and this was in the scent is this cherry cherry i don't know cherry strawberry whatever but this is a pink eos lip balm um will i repurchase this i'm not sure i mean it was nice but i'm not in like a rush to be like oh i gotta have this like i said I use a Vaseline as well, so this, I keep dropping everything, but not a necessity for me. Um, If I see one and it's, and it's like a good price, I'll pick it up, but not something that I necessarily need or am about to go out and purchase right now. All right, you guys, this is the last thing in my empties, and this is my cuticle oil pen. I use this pen for um to keep my cuticles looking nice, keep my nails looking nice. I normally get this from um, my nail tech. So I don't know, you probably can't find these on Amazon. I'm not sure, but definitely ask your nail tech, your nail salon if they have these. I know my my nail techs always have these, so um definitely ask. Definitely be sure your nail artist does not have cuticle pins. But if they um but you can always pick up like cuticle oil from like Sally's or whatever. But yeah, this is my cuticle oil pen. I have another one in my purse, and this is one I just finished. Yes, you guys, that's the end of my first empty video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any of these products shown if you use them if you like them you don't like them let me know down in the comments all right you guys i will be back to bring you guys more empties because i like i said i do purchase a lot i do use a lot of products so i will be bringing those back around for you guys but that's the end of this video you guys make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up make sure you Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always be aware when I upload another video. Alright you guys, until next time, peace and love.